Hey y'all, it's me, Jen. And today I'm gonna be hitting you guys with a story about the time I got slapped by somebody's father. The man, walk talking like a boss, I just lift a hand. Three million cash, call me Rain Man. Money like a shower, that's my rain dance. And we all in black, like it's gangland. So we're gonna get the names out the way first. We're gonna call this girl Linda. We're gonna call her father, Gerald. And we're gonna call my best friend, we'll just call my best friend Gianna because she doesn't care. So me and this girl linda stopped being friends because she simply wasn't like i don't know like she just wasn't a type of person that i wanted to be friends with anymore so she went down to the deans and said that me and gianna my best friend was bullying her so on april 24th or april 23rd one of those days we got called down to the dean it was me my friend gianna um and i think a few other girls but we got called down to the dean the dean was like you guys can at least be cordial and be hurt like you guys don't have to be her friend but like be cordial with her and we was like after he said that we were just like no because this girl is not somebody that we want to be friends with like of course if you open the door for me okay thank you but that's all it's gonna be like i don't need to be your friend so we think that everything is good peaches and cream we have the mediation then it's time to leave school so now we're walking out of the school and across the street from the school that's where everybody stands and wait for their friends or whatever and we seen linda standing there but linda like we were linda's only friend so we're just standing there like okay so who's she waiting for so me and gianna stood there for like a good i think we stood there for like a good 10 minutes and we were just waiting for her like because we was looking like who she waiting for we didn't know what was going on basically so now we're getting ready to like turn the corner on that block and as soon as we turn the corner this girl her sister i'm not even gonna do this because the sister's not even a small her sister is standing there with two other big girls so now i'm like bitch <laughs> so when we turn the corner the sister is like who's gabby i was like me then that's when she started asking me questions. She was like, are you bullying my sister? She thought that I was bullying her sister, but we're just gonna do like a size ratio because this is me and this is her sister. Who am I bullying? Like, how am I supposed to bully Linda? So her sister is like, I send my school sister to school every day looking good. Her hair looks good, everything. She dresses nice. And I'm just like, okay. I was confused because why are you sending three big girls, three adults on me? Like, I'm literally like a stick. Like, why are you sending three adults on me? So me and Gianna and a few other girls go walking down the block. And all of a sudden we see her big body father come running down the block. Gerald come running down the block. So now Gerald gets up in our face and he's like, Who's bullying? Who's bullying Linda? And I have a very smart mouth, so I was like, nobody's bullying Linda. Like, Linda's mad big. Like, why am I bullying Linda? He took offense to the, me saying her, his daughter was big. I mean, she is big. I had to call my mom because these girls were mad big, and I didn't know what was going on. So I'm on the phone with my mom, and I was like, nobody's bullying Linda. Da da da. And next thing you know, this man goes. <laughs> Boom, like he smacks me dead in my face like dead in my face and I was like Dang. But when he slapped me my phone fell out my hand like he slapped the sis He slapped me So after he slaps me this man is still trying to fight me and mind you this man just got out of jail so you know like he's really big and He not afraid to he not afraid he, he clearly not afraid like there was like a newsstand on the sidewalk and i'm on this side of the newsstand and he's on this side of the newsstand and he trying to jump over the newsstand and try to hit me when i'm mad i think i think i'm the biggest person in the world so i was trying to fight him too so i'm like what's up like we could fight that's when linda linda was standing there she came out of know i don't know where she came from but linda was standing there and linda started smiling like she giggling like you could have just fought me yourself instead of sending your father on me so after he slaps me, 
I don't know where he ran to, but he ran off and he was gone. I had called the cops and the cops came. Well, it took them a while to come. So after he slapped me, me, Gianna, and some other girls went across the street. I'm not sure if I was crying, but I remember I went across the street and I was like, he slapped like a girl. Like, that, that, I eat those. I eat those. So as we're, me and Gianna's talking about it, my friend at the time, we're going to call her Isabel. She was like, you would have thought this little girl got slapped the way that she was crying. Like, she was sitting there crying. She was on the phone with her mom, and she was like, <laughs> me and Gianna's looking like, so now me and Gianna's like, Isabel, he didn't even, you acting like you got slapped. Like, sis. And then while she's on the phone with her mom, she's like, I was rolling. Isabel is standing there crying on the phone like, Yes, he, 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 he was yelling at me. Like, what the fuck? Like, why would you do that? Sis, you're not the one that got slapped. Like, imagine if she really got slapped. Like, imagine. And the cops finally come. And they're like, um, they try to, they ask me to describe the man. I described him. Then we go back into school. I tell the deans what happened. And they're like, that just happened like just now? No, it happened yesterday. Clearly it just happened just now. So after that, me and Gianna goes home. And my mom knew everything that happened because as I said, she was on the phone with me when I got slapped. It's the next day and my mom and dad had to come in and Gianna's mom had to come in. I were in the mediation. And of course my dad is mad because another man laid his hands on me. So it set him over the edge even more when the principal walked into the mediation room and didn't say nothing. The principal literally walked in and sat down. Like he didn't introduce himself. He didn't do none of that. Like he just sat down. So that's when Gianna's mom was like, I think she said like, oh, Mr. Da Da Da. I'm disappointed in you because you're supposed to protect our kids. And once my dad heard that, he just he just went crazy. My dad gonna say, So you just gonna sit there and breathe? Me and Gianna was rolling because like, what else is he supposed to do? The deans basically weren't really taking any, anything serious. Like, it just wasn't, it wasn't handled how it was supposed to be handled. They expelled her from school. That was basically it. Like, we just went about our day because... You did all of this because I didn't want to be your friend? Like, are you that, that, are you not bored? Moral of the story is, stop feeding for friends that don't want to be your friend. Like, if they don't want to be your friend, okay, go about your business, that's it. But don't get me slapped. That's it for the story time. I will be posting many more in the future because I have a lot of crazy stories. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And come back for some more.